Here's the door. Here's the door here. And what? What? It goes into the robes. So smart. I'm Lucy. And I'm Jono. And this is Reno Goals. Master bedroom time. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you? Not really. I'm actually really nervous. This is your parents' room. Yeah. So I don't want to stuff it up. The master bedroom is the only bedroom on the upstairs level and it was the only original bedroom in the house back in the day. It's a good size, but it's lacking in a bit of storage. It's also very cluttered. There's a lot of mismatched furniture in here. It's kind of acting as a bit of a storage room rather than a master bedroom. The thing about this renovation is that we really want to make sure that we future-proof this home. When parents get older, you want to make sure that there's a bathroom upstairs, for example, and that they've got sort of easy access to things so that they can basically live on one level. So we actually want to do a big change here where we want to actually build out. Extending the master bedroom will allow us to create a much bigger bedroom with storage. And by adding in a bathroom that can double as a laundry, that will mean that we create single level living for the parents, but we also then have the addition of a bathroom upstairs. So this is going to be a pretty big transformation. We're talking new bedroom, new bathroom, new look. plans we've had drawn up for our new master wing. We're actually going to be adding in a hallway which will feature a bathroom on the right and then our bedroom towards the end. We're going to have a great big window to really maximize and celebrate those ocean views and then I'm also going to be designing new robes for this room as well. What I want to do with these robes is to try and bring in a seating area because I don't necessarily have room for an occasional chair in this bedroom. So what I wanted to do was to add a bench space and that way I thought I could add in storage for shoes. So it's just maximizing the space as much as possible. I also really want to bring in a mirror backing as well. I think that will help to reflect that view. So now that I've done these sketches, I just need to send them off to Multistore to get them finalized. I think we've lost some of the roof. We have. Because we've got a tarp. So we've gutted the bedroom and framework will be going in. But first we need to problem solve how to fit a washer dryer into this bathroom without losing too much space. So, here, en suite, yep. not a massive, massive master, is it? You no. can be honest. Yep. It's no. pretty modest. We're going to squeeze the life out of it because we want to put a washer dryer here so this is actually single level living. Yep. Yep. So good concept but how do we actually pull it off because shower here, we've got dryer here, I can't have a door that swings out because then I've literally got no room. No. So. And vanity here. So vanity there. there. You swing straight into your vanity. Exactly. Yeah. So can <clears throat> you magically create a cavity that just disappears into the master where it will disappear into the robe of the master bedroom? Question. Yes, potentially. Can yes. you? Yes. So if we've got the depth in the joinery. I've got the depth right here because I've already good. designed them. I've got 600. Mm -hmm. it, may, it may end up being a custom made unit. It, it's going to depend on the width of the dryer and that little area there that the door's got to cover because we've got to have that again for the door to slide back into the pocket. We're going to also need some framing because yeah. the opening's 600, yeah. but we need some more room for the door You'll to slide. You'll need like 100 also yeah, for the... Yeah. Okay. But you're telling <clears> me it's possible? <throat> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Baby, give me some, I'm thirsty. So you're in around once. you're in around eleven hundred for the. Oh, I see. Yeah. All of my <laughs> Lucy equations worked. Lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you basically Nothing you're telling working. me it's doable. It's going to be yeah. great. Yeah, we can make that work. Excellent. Sure. 
Awesome. Yep. Thank you. hygiene and technology. Okay. You've come to the right place. Okay. Let's go. Alright. So this is the Rocket Inwash Inspira Smart Toilet. Smart. Smart. How smart. smart. So you it's can, got a remote control. It's got a remote. It will essentially wash you, clean you, and then it will also dry you. Stop it. You can set the temperature. You can set the temperature. The, pr <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> and the position. And the trajectory. <laughs> Yeah, it can be oh very Oh my goodness. Precise. This is royal. I can't be, I can't be, yeah, I can't be, I can't be. We've actually got the rocker in Washington Spirit Smart Toilet working. <laughs> Let's go have a try. Hang Are on. You okay? Are they coming in with me? Oh my god, this is happening. Alright, I'm gonna go try it. Okay, I'll go in. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> So I didn't know really if maybe special. these worked as a little set. Yes. And then maybe they could go above their bed in the master bedroom. Yes. And so they're framed together, they're framed yeah. the same, and then it could be a nice beautiful focal point yeah. behind the bed. Okay. I just can't quick enough because I love you. Yes, I do. I can't let you go, baby. Okay, two far. We've got to design both a bedroom and a bathroom. Let's start with the bedroom design. I'm going to be introducing carpet. This is actually from Carpet Court. It's called Far North in Daintree. What I like most about this is that it's got wonderful flecks of browns and mustards. It's very earthy and links to a lot of the other interiors in this home. I like the way that sits next to the Sago. So this is the Dulux Wash and Wear. We'll be bringing in natural white aqua enamel for all of our trims and also bringing in that hardware as well. So that's that brushed brass either door handles. Now, the other element in the bedrooms is going to be ropes. So I've designed my own ropes, which meant that I could also customize the finish. I actually ended up choosing this for the finish. I didn't want anything stark white, and I do have a bench seat, and that's gonna be in Boston Oak. Now, for my handles, I really love this. This is an aged brass, so this is from Low & Co. I liked the soft detail. We're also gonna be doing some window furnishing. So I do want roller blinds because I really wanna block out solution for a bedroom, but I'm going to be building in a pelmet in order to hide these because I don't really want them to be a feature. Instead, I wanna actually have people see more of the beautiful sheer curtains. Now, this is looking beautiful. It's looking very warm. So I'll probably wanna bring in some cooler tones as well. So that is a vibe. That is the bedroom. 
So to tie in here, I want to start working on the bathroom design. What I want to do is bring in a slightly different tone. So this is actually bongo drum, and I'm actually gonna be using Wet Area Easy BJ100 to bring in a bit of texture. We're gonna be going with the same tiles that we did in the kitchen. So for these guys, I want to actually have these as a vertical stack. Let's hope our tiler does a slightly better job than me. <laughs> now on the floor for the bathroom, I actually really loved this tile. So this is a travertine finish. This is the Byron Travertine and Ivory. I want these to be quite large. I've chosen 600 square. And I really like the fact that it pretty much picks up on that carpet. It's got a very similar tone. So went to Reese, saw all of the things, got very excited. I've chosen the Kato Lux Vanity. It's got a timber base and it's gonna be wall hung. And then it's got these great gold handles, which I could specify. So I was actually able to choose from a couple of different bench top options. So I chose the Caesar Stone in organic white. We're gonna go with a semi inset white round basin. So. That just has a nice subtle contrast. And then, oh my goodness, so all of the hardware. We are going with this Lux PVD Brushed Pure Gold. So this is from Sussex. I've chosen the Scala range. I absolutely love this color. Like it is just mm, so scrumptious. I've got a couple of pieces here to show you. So this is all starting to come together. I really like the look. It's very simple, it's very calm. So you know me, I need to add some color. I love, 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 love the green in this hand towel. Greenery as well, just to tie it all together. Yes, happy with that. Meanwhile, back in law. old master bedroom? I do. Well, now it's a master suite. Would you like to come How good. with? So this is the master ensuite. We have crammed so much in here, but it is working. I'm actually really excited now it's been framed up, Jono, because now I can actually see how it will work. So we were concerned about this shower because it is on the smaller scale, but I think it actually feels very spacious. Obviously we've got a waterproof and tile, so we'll lose a tiny bit but I think it's fantastic. We've gone one meter by 1.1 meters. Yep. Very good, very generous considering the space that we're working with. This I'm excited about. So this was a clever little detail because we've got a washer dryer in here, a combo washer dryer from Electrolux. You gotta make that clear because every time I've told a tradie about how, what we're fitting in here, they're like, oh, so you got a washer, then a dryer, and then uh, a cabinet. That's what are you why doing? they've been confused. Yeah. No, 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 it's a washer dryer combo. <laughs> combo. It's one unit. That's very clever, by the yeah. way. Yeah, I've never I seen like one. That. No. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, we've got one. Yeah. Exciting. On the original plans, they wanted this and it had a door. But the thing with a door... Needs somewhere to open. Takes all of your space away. And I was like, nah, uh, uh I want a beautiful vanity. Beautiful vanity for my master ensuite. So I can't have a door messing with my system. So, enter very smart cavity sliding door. You go over there, we'll do something cool. You can be like, because I'm here. Here's the door, here's the door here, and what? What? It goes into the robes. So smart. Should we have a look at whether it ends up? Sure. I've designed three separate units. 750, space for the door. 750, 750. But we're gonna get a filler panel, so once they actually go in and get installed, we'll be able to put that filler panel in and it'll look like one flush. Piece of joinery. Piece of joinery. Mm -hmm. So a bit of trickery and no one will ever know. Except, Except you, you guys, going... because I just told you. And you will know and I'll know and all the builders. And know. every time you go into the ensuite and use the sliding door. A couple of people will know. That's actually one of the things in this house that excites me the most. Is that sad? No. It might be. It's kind of ingenious. Yeah. So we've got to insulate. The ceiling's going up. Obviously the walls have got to be clad and then we're gonna be bringing in our robes.
Oh, a bit of late night painting. So I feel like at the end of all this painting, I'm just gonna have a really overdeveloped right bicep. Like I'm just gonna be walking down the street and everyone will be like, wow, that chick has a really large right arm that is not in proportion with the rest of her body. These are the things I think about when I'm painting on my own at night. It's a special glimpse inside my brain. <laughs> Let's go. And we're done. We are done. It's all going on. It doesn't look like it, but we're on the home stretch. The smart toilet is being installed, the Sussex shower and taps are being fixed in place. Jono and Steven are doing a late night sesh to fit our new Kato Lux vanity from Reese, and our Electrolux all-in-one washer dryer is now in place. Lucky, because it only just fit. We only had like a millimetre to work with. As for the bedroom, the robes are now in and carpet cord are installed on the carpet. What is the carpet? So soft. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> happy feet over here. Do a dance. Look, what shoes am I going to wear today? I don't know. Oh, I've got so many to choose from. Them on, get ready, love it. now i'm so happy with how these pieces turned out they've come up a treat especially with that beautiful oak timber framing these were all old slides so shot around lawn and this one in particular was of the old deck as well so i really like the fact that it's in this room because you can actually see out to the new deck so i like the way it ties in outside they're both very similar tones and colors so i wanted to style the two of them together very symmetrical above the bed, making sure it's very much the focal point. I really love how this bed head works in this space. I wanted just a really nice, soft, subtle contrast. So I like that light tone against the lightness of the Sago on the walls. And I also really like just the soft curve of this. So that's actually reflected in the side tables as well. So these are both from Globe West. And then all of our koala bedding is here. So I just need to dress it now. I've got these beautiful gray and white linens from in bed. So I just just need to style the bed, style the side tables, and that's pretty much it.
got all the things into the room. We got all of the things. First of all, we'll start with the bedroom. Which is bigger and has actual storage again. Real storage. Real storage. Good looking storage as well. Don't Great mind storage. saying so myself. <laughs> good little seat, mirror. I love that seat. I just think that's so incredibly important. I didn't have enough space to put, say, an occasional mm. chair or anywhere for your parents to actually sit and get ready. So I thought having a bench was incredibly important. Just you could have, but you wouldn't have had a whole wall of robes on that wall. Exactly. So I didn't want to sacrifice storage for seating and I think it's important to have somewhere to sit that's not just your bed so big tick on that one and I love that mirror that it's mirror good. is such Huge. a good size it's so so good and the way it reflects the view I just think it's just a lovely addition and I like the way we hid some of the curtains behind that so we changed it very quickly we did change it thank you yeah, multi-store for, <laughs> for accepting my call and making those changes but I'm glad that we did that because I think it was a nice touch to be able to hide away those curtains it's really lovely having carpet in a bedroom so soft underfoot and I mean they're so soft that carpet's carpet. actually Actually just ridiculous so it's a hundred percent pure wool and I just think it's really lovely to walk over those floorboards and transition into that carpet we also got that epic new window mm -hmm. so we pushed that whole room out quite a few meters so that room now actually has an ocean view that hardwood timber is beautiful I loved keeping that it works beautifully with the color on the walls which we did sago which was the same as the rest of the upstairs so off the hallway we also transition into the ensuite as well. I love that the first thing that you see as soon as you walk into that bathroom is that epic vanity and that circular mirrored cabinet. I mean, that is pimping. A couple of special pieces there, aren't they? Yeah, I love the timber finish. I love those gold handles. I love that semi-inset basin. I love the warm out tap. I love everything about it. It was just, it just is. Oh, and I love how it works against the bongo drum. On what else? <laughs> I love lots of things. I love the hand towel as well. I love the green in that. Oh my God. Heated towel rails I love. Heated towel rails are the oh, best invention ever. They are can the I just say that? best. Yeah, you can just say that. <laughs> uh, the laundry is quite simple. Caboodle cabinetry, Electrolux all-in-one washer dryer, and then an overhead cabinet. We jam-packed a lot into that little space. It wasn't easy getting it in. No. But we got it in. Didn't take up too much space out of that room either. Did either. you notice it on the other side? when you saw the robes from the bedroom? No, you did not. No, because I trimmed them up perfectly. Seamless. Still got a very generous shower. Yeah, we've got a generous shower. I love it in there. It's so beautiful. That shower head is something else. Isn't it pimping? Yeah, they're good. <laughs> I love the addition of that curve. It's very dramatic. And those tiles as well that are running in that vertical stack, floor to ceiling, it just, it feels good. It feels a lot larger than it is in there. And I love the large floor tiling as well. They actually look beautiful, especially with that under vanity lighting. Those tiles on the floor actually have a nice bit of texture to them. They they're do. Not super, they're not perfectly smooth. They've got yeah. a great deal of texture to them. Yeah, the beautiful travertine. Heated towel rails and under floor heating, quite the luxury addition. Very luxurious. Yeah. That is one luxurious bathroom. Uh, speaking of luxurious, the uh, little special edition of the uh, Royal Lou. Oh. Have you used it a few times? I've used it. Yeah? yeah. Do you like it? It's different. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of an install job, but they Wasn't got there. It? Yeah. <laughs> needs power and it, then all the normal things. It does. It needs more than your average toilet. But I tell you what, the plumber was, was fascinated. It was his first time installing one. <laughs> he got it to work, yeah. so it can't be that hard. <laughs> Mostly, I really like the feeling of that space now. The fact that you walk over those timber floorboards, you enter into your own hallway. It flows really well. Like it feels quite seamless. rethink this room because this was done you know 25 years ago so Jono and Stephen his brother were little and now they're big perfect oh my 
my god, got... these are so cute. Let's first start with colour because I want a lot of it in this room. Let's got my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle knee pads on. Twice at once. <laughs> it's the cutest. All Favorite right. room yet. You want to be looking out for a roomless design, so something that means that there's no. Uh, hold. You can only do that in a showroom. <laughs> you yeah, you don't like want to be doing it at home. <laughs> don't do that at home. <laughs> no, I've never caressed the inside of a toilet. <laughs> Tell you what, guys, I've done some painting. I have not even touched the sides of this house yet and my right arm and wrist are very sore. Why I agreed to be the painter of this house, I actually don't think I ever did agree to being the painter of this house, just to be clear. I think it just happened. What did you just say, John O'Rod? I said you always choose well. You just sometimes change your mind three times before you're happy with it. I don't know what you're talking about.